You know, after reading American Dreams and sort of having my idea of who Riley was, um, when Yanni came in, I was like, uh, guys, send everybody home because <laughs> she's obviously Riley. <laughs> what the hell? I thought I was bitten. I know. It was kind of awesome. With Left Behind, we wanted to make a single player DLC that was as fully crafted as our main campaign. There's a great deal that we've done with the DLC that exceeds the level of, let's say, narrative density that we had in the main campaign. There's definitely implicitly this you know, stronger emphasis on exploration and non-combat gameplay. The environment that Ellie and Riley are exploring is a mall. This this is kind of a, a, a playground of lost history and it has this additional element layered on top of it of what survivors may have done in the mall after the outbreak. All this time, I thought you were dead. Yeah. Riley was her first big friendship, first big relationship. See it or not, the truth behind them is that they really need each other. If you've finished The Last of Us, um, you know what happens to Riley. You know that playing through the DLC that something's obviously going to happen is one of the, the most important things that happens and sort of makes Ellie who she is. You know, there's a real friendship. They really honestly care about each other. It's kind of the one relationship that they both can count on. But I also think it's cool because you see sort of a more playful side of Ellie. Come on. When have we ever gotten into trouble? You'll have some extremely challenging fights. In fact, some of those fights will be uh, showcasing some new features that we've added to the combat. Multi-faction combat means that humans and infected, both enemy factions of you, the player, can fight each other. The fact that you can play them against each other, you can throw a bottle and have a clicker go kill a guy, or lead an infected into an enemy or something and get them off your back. And we did what I think are a lot of cool uh, new things like that we're, we're trying out and I think some of them were really successful. Ellie's her own person, Riley's her own person, and you get to see their relationship. That's still an area that needs to be more explored. And I think that The Last of Us Left Behind is doing that. Thank <laughs> you.